Hey guys, how's it going? Long time. Well, I've got something cool to share with you guys today. Um, let's talk about mics. Uh, a lot of people uh, have been asking me what type of mic I'm using. Sound comes really clear through. Truth is, uh, I'm using a condenser mic just like uh, some of the others, but I am running it through a few effects uh, which can change and improve the voice especially on a Teams call or a Teams meeting. So let me show you what I'm working with. All right, so let me introduce you to a cool app called Cantabile or Cantabile. Uh, what this does is it passes my microphone into a whole bunch of VST plugins which can change pitch tone, if not remove background sounds as well. Um, why would you need to do this? Well, if you are keen on improving your audio and perhaps you're ambitious like me to try something different, then this application will actually be pretty awesome to, to, to hook up your mic to. So let me just show you how I'm using it. I'll turn off the audio for here. Okay, so let's take this look. So right now I'm running my voice through a noise gate, an equalizer, I'm also subtracting the background sound and I've not turned on, but I could add a reverb. So if I throw on the reverb right there, it should sound like I'm in a room that has some depth in there. I'll turn that off. I don't think that's great for uh, calls anyways. Okay, so let's show you what this sounds like if I turn it all off. So first I'm gonna turn off the noise gate then the equalizer, then the background sound. So you should see or hear um, something um, or the sound change in this. <clears throat> so let's go. Turn off the noise gate. For folks who don't know what noise gate is, it picks up, um, it, it's used to cut off your mic uh, at a certain decibel. So if you have any uh, sounds coming out of your room or your desk or your computer, you could cut off the mic at a certain gain level. So that's what noise case does. Equalize. Well, this you've probably seen at home, but you can also use it in your mic. And if I turn it off, it sounds like I'm in a, sounds like I'm, <laughs> sounds like I'm in a tunnel or something. I don't know. It sounds a bit different. And the last one is the background sound. So turn that off. And now you're probably hearing a lot of sound that's coming out of this room. So as you can see, this has drastically changed and I'm using the same mic. So let me just turn that back on again. So I've sub subtracted the background sound, go back to equalizer, change that again. Oh, you like that? And last but not least, noise gate. Awesome. So now everything's back on. Now let me show you with the equalizer how cool it is to change um, your pitch, your tone, especially if you're trying to enunciate words or certain words don't come out well. So let me show you what this looks like. Um, in here, if I hit the editor, I will actually bring up the uh, equalizer that I'm using. Now I've been playing around with this a lot. So the first one is, what does a regular telephone sound like? So a regular telephone <laughs> sounds like this. It just wants to just take all the sound uh, and what you're seeing is the yellow line is where the voice is. Uh, it's cutting off the really lows and it's cutting off the really highs and, uh, and that's what that does in there. If I change this to podcast one, this should sound a little bit better. It's like BBC one, BBC two. So this is a bit boost in the bass and so forth. So here's that bass boost. Here's the semblance uh, in the voice and that's what that does. And I've been experimenting more with this and just, just more higher pitched, I guess, uh, for the high is at uh, 5,000 kilohertz. Last but not least uh, is <clears throat> another one. So this is the one I mostly use. Uh, I worked on this one with my sister. She's a recording artist and a, a musician. She's a singer, songwriter. And so she and me got on a call and and she tried to help me engineer the sound. And she explained a lot to me about how this works. Um, and, and then here's another one, uh, slight change and so forth. So I really like these ones and these ones really improve it. So hopefully this gives you a glimpse into how you can improve your sound. Yes, you can use a third party app. Uh, and in this case, I'm using Cantabile. I've installed some plugins from uh, Reefer uh, and these plugins allow you to change uh, sound. 
Uh, one, one more cool thing. Let me show you the background sound uh, cancellation. Um, so in background sound cancellation, uh, essentially you don't speak, you leave your microphone on and the system tries to hear the background sound. So that red line or you see there, that's the background sound. That's the sound that's not coming through the microphone. And if it did, you would hear the, uh, the you would hear the hertz of that sound. So I've done a test with quite home, no kids, uh, late night with Hugo. So a little bit more cutting there. Um, uh, and really, it's really a nice way to do that. So if I start a brand new one here, you'll see the sound's not uh, trapped. Uh, everything's coming through. And the way you would the way you would work this is you would say subtract. All right, so as you can see, it's subtracted a lot of sound. Even my voice has been subtracted. You don't want to do that. But I just want to show you what this plugin was doing. We'll go back to this one. There you go. So as you saw, as I spoke and I ran the profile, it was developing a, a profile on which it would subtract sound. So kind of good because i have a pc running it makes the fan sound uh and i kind of squeal my chair a bit back and forth so that kind of helps with that so that was cool i really like that one uh yeah. so i'll drop a link in how you can actually get started with something like this but uh hope you found this interesting thanks for listening thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys again <laughs>